the power rule. We need a set of powers, so I just chose two because it's easy enough and I think we're familiar enough with it. But we want to look at um, these values. So we want to look at log of two, log of four, and so on. Logarithm of powers. So in other words, uh, log of 2, I could write it as log of 2 to the 1, right? That's a power of 2. Log of 4, I could write as log of 2 to the 2. And continue that down here. Log of 2 to the 3, 2 to the 4, and log of 2 to the 5th. Let's pick one of those to, to illustrate here. You need the actual values for this. So if you haven't if you haven't got that, you got to go to your calculator and get the values here. Now I'm going to cheat again and make a table here. Remember, you can make tables on here. I know you're used to making graphs, but a lot of times it's it it saves you punching all that in individually. If I want the logarithm of a bunch of different numbers, I can just put in here logarithm of x, and then set up the table here so that I can enter my own numbers in. I can't remember whether I showed you this last time, but if I change this to ask for the independent variable for x, it's going to allow me to put my own numbers in when I go to table over here. These two things are related. You know how window and graph are related? Window is where you set up the graph. Table set is where you set up the table. So if you set it up the way you want here, I want to be able to put my own x values in. Then I'll go to the table. Now there's a bunch of numbers that I used for the previous thing I was doing. So we can delete those. One, I guess one's the, well the first one I have is log of two, right? I got log of two, and then logarithm of four, and eight, 16, 32. What's the next one gonna be? If I put a 64 in there, what's its logarithm gonna be? If you follow that pattern, yeah, 1.806. How does that relate to the original one? How does how does the logarithm of, say, this 32 here, how does the logarithm of 2 to the 5th, because that's what 32 is, how does the logarithm of 2 to the 5th relate to log of 2? How are those connected? How do you get one from the other? Yeah, just times by 5, right? This one is 5 times as much as this one. This one is four times as much as this one. Each of these, if you see these numbers as powers, which we have written out over here, I'm going to actually do this so that we have it and we can look at it. If you if you take those values and realize that, oops, oh, that's great. Okay, so there we go. So we got, let's use this one as an example. Um, Let's use this because it's just so easy to see here, right? This is this is going to be a good example that logarithm of 8, logarithm of 8 is equal to 3 times logarithm of 2, isn't it? Logarithm of 2 is 0.3 there, right? Log of, log of 2 is right there. Logarithm of 8 is 3 times that much. Log of 8 is equal to 3 times log of 2. Do you see how that shows up in that table? You're okay with that? Log, log of 32 then, or log of 2 to the 5th. Stick with different colors. Log of 2 to the 5th, what's that equal to? Log of 2 to the 5th is the same as not 3 times log 2. It's going to be 5 times log of 2 down here, right? Log of 32 is that, five times as much. If I continue this down here and said log of, what's a big power of two here? 512. What's 512? Anybody know what this, that is as a power of two? It's nine, good for you. Log of 512. Log of 512 is, is going to be the same as, how do I get it from log of two? Nine times that, okay? If we want to write this in general here, if we have logarithm of a power, like logarithm of 2 to the ninth 
that's 9 log 2. If we have log of, better be consistent with what I did down there, b to the power of n, what's that going to be the same as? Yeah, whatever n is times the log of b. That rule should probably go down here, right? That's, that's the power rule. Probably here's how you're going to, I know that you, you're going to maybe memorize it like that, but I think a lot of you are going to remember it this way. You're going to have log of something here, right? 3 to the 7th. And to change that around, you're going to, you're going to just know that eventually you're going to not say, wait, what was that rule? Log of b to the n's n log b. You're just going to kind of think, well, I know that this number here can go where? Kind of on the other side. But it also can't just be like that. It has to get a bit bigger here, right? Because it's not an exponent anymore. The little numbers and big numbers thing is, it's, it's what troubles grade 12s. I understand why. So it's, there's an exponent. You gotta be careful with how you write things. If you get, if you get lazy with your writing, uh, here's me giving handwriting advice, uh, which is very ironic. But if you, if you start writing things, like if you're writing log base 2 of 2 to the 2, you gotta be careful with subscripts, regular numbers, superscripts. Because if you just go log 2 of 2 to the 2, if they start kind of all looking the same, those look like Zs. But. So you're going to remember it as this number can go in front, but it has to be bigger, right? It's 7 times that. If you just write 7 log 3, it means 7 times log 3. Just like 7x means 7 times x. Now, the wording of this one's maybe a bit trickier. The logarithm of the nth power of a base b is equivalent to n times the logarithm of b. So I've given, we've looked at some rules here that you're going to use to try and work with some expressions here. All of these are expressions. Notice there's no equal signs in here anywhere. These are all expressions that you need to work with. I'm hoping you can do this without a calculator. I put it in there the few, first few times, but even the ones that say that. You have three rules. You have one that's for adding logarithms. You have one that's for subtracting logarithms. And you have one that is for powers. You're going to recognize powers. You ha I, I don't want to show you how to do every single question here, because I really think if you use those rules, you can figure these things out. I'll put the answers up here after. Don't forget this binder up here has things to check. There's also that practice booklet. You have about 25 minutes right now. Uh, the plan is, I'm going to say this, this is the plan to be where you should be for next time. Uh, number one is you need to be kind of finish. And when I say finish, I mean finish understanding. Don't just have the thing filled in, right? You need to understand up to up to this tutorial, up to and including two, three. I guess I could stop this here, eh?